Today, I'm going to be making a cracker pie, and this is from the April 1979 edition of Southern Living Magazine. So first, we're gonna go over all the ingredients. You need, it says 20 buttery round crackers finely crushed. So we're gonna use Ritz crackers, whatever your favorite buttery round cracker is. You, um, you I, have to use Ritz. You, according to Kevin, you have to use Ritz. <laughs> uh, so I have already have 20 in here and we're gonna crush those up. I'll show you that in a minute. You need a half cup of chopped pecans, one teaspoon baking powder, three egg whites, one cup sugar, one teaspoon vanilla, one cup whipping cream, and we're gonna whip it. It says one cup whipping cream whipped, and a fourth cup of chopped pecans. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to beat our egg whites until frothy. eggs are uh, uh, beating I'm going to crush I have these in a Ziploc bag and I'm going to crush these uh, finely very very finely into a powder with my rolling pin eggs are definitely frothy. You want to gradually beat in your sugar um, until this is uh, glossy, it says. And stiff. And stiff. in our vanilla and then mix it again. Okay, so we're gonna leave this here for just a second. We're gonna come over to this bowl and we're going to combine our cracker crumbs. This is our 20 crackers. And then our baking powder and our half cup of pecans. There we go. And then we are going to fold in the meringue mixture that we just made. We're going to fold it in to this mixture. So I'm gonna move this over here and then fold it in, which I don't know if I'm gonna be good at folding it in. So Kevin, do you think I ought to put the whole ball of this yeah. in? Okay, and then fold it? Yeah. Okay, you also want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees, and you need a nine inch uh, pie, uh, pie pan. Ours is clear. <laughs> ours is clear, and ours is also a nine and a half. So if you have a nine and a half, ours is a Pyrex. And you, uh, Kevin probably showed you, we sprayed it. Uh, we just use the Great Value vegetable spray that's that's what i've i've sprayed in there and our um our uh whipping cream and the fourth cup of chopped pecans that i showed you at the beginning i put the whipping cream in the refrigerator because we're not going to use that right now and just set the fourth cup of chopped pecans to the side because we're going to use those um later once this is baked so now you want to fold this in which like I said, I'm probably not good at. I was thinking of folding is like going under and over. That's what I'm, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, but it's kind of sticky. Sticky, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of sticky, so. It looks like a marshmallow cream. I guess you don't want it to. You don't knock the air out of it. Yeah, fall flat. But I'm going, I'm kind of scooping. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're gonna move this stuff out of the way. Move your pie pan over, and you're going to spoon this in to your pie pan. I wonder if it really makes a difference to spoon it or me just. I don't know, it probably doesn't spread. That's why they want you to spoon it. it. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so I'm going to spread this out just a little bit. And then we are going to bake this at 350, like I said, for 25 to 30 minutes. I'm going to set my timer. I'm going to set it for 27 minutes. And then I'll be back. So this is how it looks when it comes out of the oven. You need to let it cool on the counter uh, for a little while. I'll probably let it sit here for about a half an hour because we need to put it in the refrigerator for two hours uh, before we do anything else. So you don't want to put it in the refrigerator when it's scalding hot. So I'll let it sit here for half an hour, put it in the refrigerator for two hours, and then we'll be back to do the next part. So our pie is in the refrigerator still. It has probably 10 minutes before it's supposed to come out. So at this point, uh, you want to whip your uh, whipping cream. So this is what the whipping cream looks like. It's just a liquid. They don't explain to you how to do that. So like if you are, are you know, have never seen anybody use whipping cream, if you've never seen it done, then you're gonna be like, well, what the heck? You know, because it's a liquid. What do you, what do you mean? put the whipping cream on top of the pie. Um, so what you want to do is you put it in your mixer and you do need a mixer for this. You can't, I don't think you could do this by hand. You could, it would just take you a while. Oh, it would take you a long time. <laughs> so uh, we're going to put it on high and you're going to watch it. It's going to get thicker and thicker. I believe this is ready so to check it to make sure it's ready you want to dip it down in and yeah, if it's, it's not off. yeah it's not falling off so that means it's ready so I have my pie out of the refrigerator and I'm gonna add my uh, whipped cream to the top and if you want to uh, make it easier on you um, I'm assuming you could just use Cool Whip for this part. Yeah, you could. And if you want to make it fancy, you could use a piping bag. Oh, yeah. And put little dots all around. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's not any pictures. And someone brought up an excellent point on one of these videos. I said, the, I said there's no pictures in the back of these southern livings. And you know what they said? They said that's, they think, and I think they're right. They said because these recipes were submitted. Oh, yeah. And, you don't think they ever made them. And at the time, yeah, they weren't from the Southern Living Test Kitchen. And at the time, it wasn't easy to, you, you couldn't just send in a picture through email or something like that. You know, you're, you're talking about having to take a picture, print it out with real film, and then mail it in. Uh, which I know yeah, people pe people can't even imagine that these days. And so since these are submitted, that makes perfect sense to me. Yeah, I never thought about being the submitted part. Yeah. So I like to leave the, the edge uh, uncovered. Uh, just, I don't know. I just, I don't like to go all the way up to the edge because two, it makes it messy when you cut it and everything. So I'm going to leave it like that. And then the fourth of the pecans that you got out earlier, you're going to decorate the top with the fourth cup of pecans. And I might lightly just um, touch them with my finger just to make sure uh, they stick in that whipped cream. Yeah, like this. Just a little bit and then we can cut it. So I'm gonna cut this, and it's it sounds crunchy. Um, mm -hmm. Like chalk. Yes, I'm just gonna, I wanna take a big piece out. I like taking a big piece out so that you all can see exactly what it's gonna look like. But that meringue, you, you see, it will crack a little bit. And, huh? I'll hold you on. And my first piece, my first piece is usually my ugly piece too, so we'll see. It probably would have come out better if I'd cut it smaller, honestly. Yeah, it would definitely would have come out of cut come out better if I'd cut it smaller. 
but I wanted you to be able to see it really well from the side. So that's how it looks. And I can't wait to try it. So this recipe was submitted by Mrs. Claudia Galvin in Dallas, Texas. Um, First one from Dallas. 1979, yeah, Dallas, Texas. Okay. I've got a big dollop of, of whipped cream here at the end. So I'm gonna I'm, eat that first. I'm trying just the meringue part. Mm. With that equal whip. You know what that reminds me of? What? The con pie. It does? Mm-hmm. That whipped cream doesn't have any flavor, really. No. You know a pecan pie. When you get that really thick sugary part that's kind of bubbled up on the top where the crust is. Right. That's a really thick, or maybe the very top layer of it. That's what that flavor kind of reminds me of. It's very sweet. I won't say very sweet. It's sweet. The crust is nice. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, the meringue part. I yeah. wish they had told you in your whipped cream, first of all, they didn't say anything about it. I, oh, wish, no. they, I wish they had said to put just, uh, normally you put a little vanilla in it, maybe do you put sugar in it? I can't remember. It's been a while since I made my own, but I know you for sure you put vanilla in it towards mm -hmm. the end just to give it a little more flavor. Mm -hmm. um, I wish they told you to do that, but they did. No. No, like I said, if you didn't know what they were talking about, you wouldn't have had a clue. Now you mix that with that cream. Right. And it doesn't taste like that pecan pie kind of flavor. No, it doesn't. It, um, this is actually very, very delicious and it's incredible. Incredibly sweet. Yeah, try that. Very, very sweet. I had a hunk that didn't have any cream on it, so it has a little bit different flavor, doesn't it? Mm hmm. That cream adds a little different <laughs> flavor to it. I like that better all by itself. <laughs> I like it, and, and that was just what came out of the refrigerator, wasn't mm -hmm. it? I like it better. Now, it's not as pretty. You saw it before we added the whipped cream. But it tastes better without the whipped cream mm -hmm. it than does. it does than it does with the whipped cream. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it could be because the whipped cream is plain. Mm -hmm. If you bought Cool Whip, which has a little bit of a sweetness to it and a vanilla flavor, mm -hmm. that might add some flavor to it. But the, the way they have you mixing just milk, basically, um, it doesn't add much to it. I wouldn't buy the low fat or low sugar or whatever, mm -hmm. low calorie whipped cream, Cool Whip either, if you're going to buy it. Mm -hmm. I would buy just the regular the Cool Whip fat. if you're going to do it. But I licked the bowl <laughs> once the camera stopped. For the for that mixture that we put the in, in the for the meringue, it was delicious. It's it was good. sweet, very 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 delicious. So it makes sense that that would be so good on its own. Mm -hmm. So I think it's good. I'm wondering because you you it's it's ugly. I hate to say that because it's so delicious, but it is ugly with nothing on top. I'm wondering if there's something else you could put on top. That wouldn't hide the flavor other than mm. Cool Whip, but I don't think there is. I think you really are going to have to use Cool Whip. Caramel sauce. Or yeah, but that's going to cover yeah. up the whole flavor. Yeah. Any sauces, chocolate, peanut butter, whatever, that's going to cover up the flavor of your meringue. I think you have no choice but to use Cool Whip just to make it pretty. But I still um, think if you add a Cool Whip to it, it would add a little bit more flavor because it would add um. Right. Cool Whip has a more distinct flavor than just this whipped cream. Mm -hmm. um, it has more of a vanilla sugary flavor. Right. Which mm -hmm. I think that would elevate the what's underneath. So. Well, the meringue is really delicious yeah. by itself. It's absolutely, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the Cool Whip. It's just plain. But that meringue is outstanding. Mm -hmm. um, Very good. And that good would save you, too. that's going to save you a whole step. Yeah. At the end, if you would just buy Cool Whip mm -hmm. and don't even fool with whipping it yourself because you're not adding anything to yeah. it doing that anyway. Um, the texture of it though, we didn't really talk about it. It's kind of got this chewy outside. Yes. And then it's got this sticky kind of marshmallowy kind of texture on the inside. It's, yes. It's, there, it's perfect meringue. Yes, it's delicious. If you ever watched, uh, we made meringue, uh, Kevin made meringues, not me. Uh, we did a recipe for eating mess. 
Fantastic. That, that one's a little different though because yeah, that one. Bake it. And that, but that one didn't have a marshmallowy kind of center in it. It was more crispy all over. Right. Um, and I mean, I know you you bake this too, but the way that you baked it, it you did it differently. Yeah, you you did didn't put it in a pie of crust. But uh, meringues in general, if you've never done them before, it's not hard. No, and they're, they they come out pretty pretty decent. Yeah. So, I hope you enjoy the video. If you've ever tried one of these, a cracker pie, you'll have to let us know your thoughts. And thanks for watching.